Hello everyone. Today I'm here to share Crystal's views on how elevated raw material and fertilizer prices amidst Russia-Ukraine conflict will impact fertilizer players' profitability and credit profiles. Let us first understand the demand outlook for the fertilizers. On the back of a 7% decline in fertilizer sales in fiscal 2022, largely due to uneven distribution of monsoon and a high base, we expect a modest 3.5% growth this fiscal. This, of course, factors in the expectation of a normal monsoon with no major increase in the retail price of complex fertilizers. Moving on to supplies, we remain dependent on the imports for both urea and complex fertilizers, but the proportions are low. We are expected to see increase in urea production from the recently commissioned and upcoming urea capacities, which will keep in check the import dependence for urea in the current fiscal. As regards complex fertilizers, the dependency on the Russia, Belarus, Ukraine is low except for the potash-based fertilizers, for which the government is trying to tie up with other countries to minimize any availability impact. So while supply challenges are being addressed, but the prices of raw materials may play havoc amidst Russia-Ukraine conflict. Prices of pool gas, which is a mix of domestic and imported natural gas, are already at the multi-year highs. Similarly, the prices of other key raw materials like rock phosphate and potash are also touching the roof. We expect these prices to remain elevated during the current quarter and may ease only June onwards once China resumes exports and the situation in Russia and Europe eases, at least hopefully. These high raw material prices have different impact on the urea and complex fertilizer manufacturers. For urea players, the raw material prices are a pass-through and therefore it does not impact their profitability. But for the complex fertilizer makers, profitability depends on the NBS rates announced by the government every six months. Government has recently increased the NBS rates for the first half of current fiscal by a significant amount. This is primarily to keep fertilizer, players, uh, fertilizer prices affordable for the farmers and in turn also support fertilizer players' profitabilities. However, this will increase the subsidy requirement of government. We estimate that against the budgeted fertilizer subsidy of Rs 1.05 lakh crore, government subsidy bill this year may rise to over Rs 2 lakh crore. And in the scenario, prices sustain at the current level through the year, it may be as high as Rs 2.5 lakh crores. Under budgeting of subsidy, an increase in subsidy receivable has been an industry issue in the past. While the credit profile does factor in that the receivables are sovereign and have no default risk, it raises the working capital requirements and finance costs for the companies which limit their financial flexibilities. The government has been very supportive over the last two fiscal and has provided additional subsidy of Rs 1.2 lakh crores. However, given the evol evolving situation around the key raw materials, adequacy of NBS rates for the second half of the fiscal and additional subsidy budget for the entire fiscal will have a bearing on uh, players' credit profiles. And on that note, I thank you for your time and attention. Take care and goodbye.